Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So in this here video, I'm going to be telling you guys what to expect from the spring 2024 event, as well as some of my predictions and theories of what could possibly be coming to this event. With Wild Horse Islands uh, basically reusing most of the uh, events that they've been doing this year, we can assume that the spring one will be reused as well, most likely considering that the butterflies are simply named uh, Spring Limited and not Spring 23 Limited, so they are most likely returning. So basically what this event was, I'll throw some clips uh, from last year's onto the screen, is you would go around collecting butterflies on mainland and forest island, which you could then turn into an NPC or to the Spring Fountain for limited springtime rewards and accessories. Here's some examples of some of the spring accessories if you were wondering what they were. They had these cute little rain hats, spring bunnies, bird's nest, birdhouse, uh, tail ladybug, tail bumblebee, tulip crown, this was one from the fountain. They had this daisy aura, watering can, Easter basket, that was also from the fountain. Um, they had rubber boots, which are pretty cute, butterfly pin, um, and they just had like a variety of, you know, spring themed accessories and stuff like that. And then they also had spring hair dyes, which we can also assume are coming back to Wild Horse Islands. So that's pretty much what we can expect is basically what we had last year. However, I could be wrong and maybe they'll add a few additions or completely change up how this thing works. You know, they could add another event currency in addition to this or, you know, switch it up. I'm not really sure. That's just what I'm assuming since it's what was uh, happening for the past few events. Uh, that's just an assumption that I made is that they're going to reuse it again. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into some of my ideas and predictions for some things that they could add. Mainly accessories and horse coats and stuff. So for accessories, I was thinking that they could do a, you know, a flower pot, like tail accessory, like they could have one of those like uh, orangish uh, colored pots with like a little flower sticking out that could sit on your horse's rear. I think that that would be adorable. They could also have a mouth flower basket where in your horse it carries like a basket that's filled with flowers. That would be super cute. They could also add for auras, they could do a raindrop aura or a ladybug aura or a spring flower aura which could be a mix of flowers since I know they already have the daisy one. And then for pattern items, they could do a variety with the pattern items. Last year we got the daisy and the bumblebee, however we could also do uh, other types of flowers such as daffodil or lilac. We could also get butterfly or a cherry blossom pattern or a ladybug pattern. There's definitely a lot of uh, different pattern items that they could do. And then another cute accessory could be a spring picnic basket. How cute would it be to have a little picnic basket on your horse's rear? I think it would be adorable. Um, so next up, I'm going to be telling you guys some of my horse coat ideas and predictions. Um, they could add a horse coat that could be found on every breed. They did this for Valentine's, and then we also, of course, have the ghost horses uh, for Halloween, and then we have the fawn horses for holiday. So who knows? They could add a horse for the spring as well. So that's definitely a possibility. But some coat ideas, uh, last year we had the Monarch Pertron, so they could add some other butterfly related coats, you know, you know that one blue butterfly emoji, they could do something related to that. Um, we could also get a really lovely looking like cherry blossom coat, or we could have like a bumblebee coat that's like black and white stripes of some sort, that could be interesting. Same thing with the ladybug one. And then I was also thinking they could do like a partly cloudy, so like a sun and then maybe some clouds of some sort. And then a final coat that I was thinking could be spring leaf, where they have like a bunch of leaves. And you know like those little mini white flowers, they could put something with that. And then of course they could do a lot of flower themed coats, I'm not even going to go into all the flowers that they could possibly do. And then for dyes, I was thinking that they could possibly add like a pastel fade. That's basically just a fade of like all the pastel dyes. Um, they could also make like a pastel yellow dye. I'm not sure if they have that. I don't think that they do. But the pastel fade could be a fade of like yellow, pink, purple, green. Uh, those types of colors I think would be really cute. And then we could also have like a leafy fade. Uh, for example, like dark green to light green or like different shades of green fade. I think that that, that could be pretty cute. Um, those were my ideas for that. 
Um, and I think that's pretty much all of I, my um, predictions and ideas. Uh, we're likely going to get uh, two new pattern items because typically for the events they've been adding two new patterns each year. And then as well as some cute little accessories. And then they've also typically been reusing what we had last year. Although for the fall one, they did do something new for the fall one. So I could be surprised and we could get something new for spring. Maybe, maybe it'll be something with gardening. Who knows? Maybe it'll be something completely new. I'm definitely excited to see what they are adding. A reminder that the spring event is coming Friday, March 29th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope that you all enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye everybody.